29. All right, what is happening? Jamie Perkins here. So I'm putting out another update video so people can see what's going on with me. I think it's been more than a week since my last update video went out. And you know, these videos are a few days behind each time we make one, but I have some things to report. I have some news. Um, I have something to show everybody now. So I am working about a half a day per day, sometimes more actually, if my wife will let me, you know, but you know, she's pretty smart, I'm telling you what. And she keeps me in line, but hey, so here's some cool things. Uh, I've been going to my occupational therapist and I have got this pretty cool brace made. This is just a piece of rubberized plastic stuff and I'll take it off for you and show you what it is here. So uh, it's got Velcro on it. Ow, wow, that was stuck to my finger. Anyway, look folks, here's the hand, okay? This is what I got going on. And it's finally um, not so gross looking, I feel like that it's okay to share a picture of it that's not blurred. Because before, when we did the blurred pictures, it was really gross. It was bloody, it was nasty looking, it was fresh, okay? So I was trying to spare everybody. Basically when I'm working, I'm doing things that I can do with really just the one hand, like a little bit of painting, okay? I can do some painting. I can pick up some things that aren't too heavy or too awkward to pick up, really, that's the problem. And, you know, I don't know, I'm doing a little bit of hammering, you know, a little bit of nail gun action, and even a little bit of, uh, you know, let's say, uh, a little bit of drilling, because I can hold a screw with my hand in the brace right here, and uh, I'll give you a little demonstration here. I'll put the brace back on, and you can see that I can hold a screw uh, between my thumb and my brace, and I can fairly easily get a screw started and attach a couple pieces of wood. Um, I'm not trying to go too crazy, but I do want to keep working. You just gotta use your mouth a little bit. Uh-huh. Look at that, good to go. Also been working on playing some guitar. As you know, I'm trying to play left-handed guitar, even though I'm right-handed and that's what I'm used to. Uh, doing a little bit of drumming. Uh, that kind of hurts my hand though. It's like stinging. Uh, the nerves just really get excited in all of my fingertips uh, where the nerves have been cut off and have not regrown all the way. It'll take, um, I'm told it'll take years actually for your nerves to regrow. Apparently the nerve tissue is the slowest kind of tissue to regrow. So that'll take a long time. I don't expect it to happen overnight. And uh, so it'll just be something that I will be having to be patient about, you know? Normally I mow a lot of grass. I have a lot of grass to mow here around my house and around my project houses. And one of those machines that I used to mow with has got a bunch of big levers and things you have to steer it with and use the brakes. And I really cannot use that machine right now, um, especially this summer. Now, maybe when I get fully healed, and I mean in like a year, I might be able to operate that machine. But in the meantime, in order for me to be able to maintain my property, I had to go buy a new lawnmower, like one that I can actually use, like right now, because I can mow with one hand, that's fine. Uh, but this other machine takes two hands and two levers and it's complicated and you have to kind of muscle it around. It's not really even fun for a person who's in really good shape to operate. So, uh, you know, I'm having to go ahead and improvise a couple of things for me to be able to carry about my normal uh, things that I need to be doing, you know. And even taking the trash out is kind of hard. It's hard to pick up a big heavy trash can full of baby diapers from my house <laughs> and dump it into the dumpster. So I'm having to have help doing all these things. I'm not used to having help for a lot of things. And actually, there's part of me that really struggles to ask for help. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just the uh, male part of me. Um, maybe a lot of people are like that, but it's hard for me to ask somebody to help me to say, man, I can't do this. Can you please help me? Um, I can drive now. It's okay. I could, and the doctor says it's fine, but it's still, I don't want to get in a situation where I have to react really quick and drive and grab the steering wheel accidentally with my hurt hand and hurt myself. So it's just better if I have people drive me around right now and that's working pretty good. This finger's doing the best, look at this. And I can even move this little end of my finger just barely. Okay, that's the only joint that I have on my fingers. Um, you know, all my skin is peeling off of my hand. That's kind of weird. And my hand is still really swollen, like I can't grip anything, you know. I can, I can do this, all right. 
I can touch my fingers together, but I don't want to press very hard, obviously. And I, so I can't really pick anything up right now. Um, so I'm just, I'm just having to be careful in what I do and not overdo it. The doctor says, don't overdo it. You can do things and begin to use it, but just please be careful. It's kind of exciting. I got all my stitches taken out. Now it took about two weeks for them to take them out and they took them out a little bit at a time. I had a total of 60 stitches. That's six, zero, 60 stitches spread out between my four fingers and some of my knuckles there. Again, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who has supported our channel and who has been following this video series of updates. And thank you for everybody who has continued to pray for me. And I, I really feel like I'm starting to make some progress now, getting better, getting uh, some more freedom back to be at work and different things like that. So a huge thank you to all of you guys. And uh, I hope this isn't too painful for you to watch, but thanks for keeping up with me. And I'm gonna continue to put out some more updates as time goes by.